you might have a situation where Drake realizes that not like us and everything around that song and this battle has forever tarnished his earning ability and his ability to make that money is so significantly reduced that he's got to do everything he possibly can to get it back even if that means filing these claims where you're out here I, I would never file a claim like this if I were him unless I guess there was that much money on the line because from a PR perspective my gosh what do we think people does this does this play well or does this play poorly for the boy <sighs> Meanwhile, academics trying to figure out how he's going to spin this one. <laughs> and clean this Drake news up. <sighs> and so we here again. Now, Drake, I didn't want to do this, but, but I got to. I mean, it, it just is what it is. And I like you, but we got to talk. Because <laughs> things just got way too out of control, man. This is out of hand at this point. And I don't know how we're going to get it back. Like, I don't understand what is going on. Now, Drake has initiated legal actions against UMG. If you didn't know, that's Uni Universal Music Group and Spotify over allegations that the two companies conspired. To artificially inflate the popularity of Kendrick Lamar's Not Like Us record. What does that mean? Well, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> and we about to break down the whole case. Because I don't like it. <laughs> like, how did we get here, Drake? How? Instead, UMG has pointed the finger at Kendrick Lamar, dog. Like, they pointing the finger at KDOT. Insisting that Drake should initiate legal actions against Mr. Lamar. Rather than UMG. We go from the raps to the, to the courthouse. <laughs> like, you can't make this up. You just can't. So they want to point the finger at Kendrick Lamar rather than UMG and even threatened to bring its own legal claims against Mr. Duckworth. This is what they would say. You know, that's K, K Dot's last name. If Drake were to pursue claims against UMG, we move from the internet fam to the studios to the courthouse. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I don't like where this is headed. I just don't. So in a legal petition, the star's company accuses UMG of a serious wrongdoing. But it comes with a twist, y'all. You, you can't make none of this up. After the high profile feud with KDOT. What they saying is this, he initiated legal actions against Universal Music Group, right? And Spotify over allegations that the two companies conspired to basically run them numbers up <laughs> with the Not Like Us record. And fouling of November 25th, the Manhattan court Drake's frozen moments. LLC accuses UMG of launching an illegal scheme involving bots payola and other methods to pump up lamar's song a track that savagely attacked drake amid ongoing feud between the two stars umg did not reply or rely on chances or even ordinary businesses practice attorney for drake's companies wrote instead launched a campaign to manipulate and saturate the streaming services and airwaves this is what they saying. Drake's attorney accused UMG of violating the Racketeer Influence and Corrupt Organizations Act, the federal RICO statute, often used in criminal cases against organized crime. You see how deep this shit starting to get? <laughs> like, we go from a beef, a rat beef, to legal actions being taken. You can't make this up. They also allege deceptive 
business practices and false advertising under the New York state law. The court filings are a remarkable twist in the high profile beef between the two stars. Diss tracks over a period of months earlier this year that such a dispute would spill into business litigations seemed almost unthinkable in the world of hip hop. It also represents a stunning rift between Drake and UMG where the star has spent his entire career first through signing a deal with Lil Wayne's Young Money imprint, which was distributed through Republic Records, then by signing directly to Republic. Lamar, meanwhile, has also spent his entire career associated with UMG, first through TDE imprint, which was distributed by Interscope, and more recently through his own company, PG Lane which he licensed through Interscope. In technical terms, Monday filings is not yet a full lawsuit, but so-called pre-action, petition, and procedure under the New York law that aims to ensure information by filing a lawsuit. Parties named in such petitions will not necessarily be targeted in eventual lawsuit. Allegations in Monday's filing seem more squarely aimed at UMG than Spotify. Now, UMG denied these allegations. Spotify declined to comment. Obviously, they don't want no dealings. They don't want to say nothing. We just going to take it up in court. <laughs> Drake's attorney claimed that UMG carried out its scheme in a variety of ways, including by charging Spotify vastly reduced licensing rates in exchange for streamer recommending the songs to users who had searched for unrelated songs and artists. They also claim UMG paid influencers to boost the song on social media, also hired armies of bots <laughs> to fraudulently spike the numbers. You can't make none of this up, bro. Like, you just can't. UMG conspired with the paid currently unknown parties to use bots to artificially inflate the spread of Not Like Us and deceive consumers into believing the song was more popular than it was in reality, Drake lawyers have, have wrote. In one particular eye-catching claim, the petition claims that UMG paid Apple to have its voice assistants feature series purposely misdirect users to Kendrick Lamar's song. Online sources reported that when users asked Siri to play the album Certified Lover Boy by Drake, Siri would instead play Not Like Us, which contains the lyric certified pedophile and the allegations against Drake, the rapper's lawyers wrote. Apple is not named as a respondent in the petition, nor accused of any legal wrongdoing. A spokesman of the company did not immediately return a request for comment. Why would UMG choose to egregiously boost Lamar's song? Drake lawyers say it is um, was partially because of the internal corporate dynamics at UMG and Interscope, where financial incentives for executives are largely based on the specific UMG division rather than the performance of UMG more generally. UMG's schemes were motivated at least in a part by the desire of executives at Interscope to maximize their own profits. Drake's attorney's right. Executives in, at Interscope have been incentivized to maximize the financial success of Interscopes through the promotion of Not Like Us and revitalizing the impact of the artist's prior recording catalog. Drake's attorney says he raised the issue with UMG before heading to court, but the music giant has no interest in taking responsibility for its misconduct. To contrary, he claims that UMG has actively tried to conceal its wrongdoing, including by firing staff perceived as having loyalty to Drake. It gets real, man. Drake has reportedly sought to engage UMG discussions to resolve the ongoing harm he has suffered. As a result of UMG's actions, the petition reads, UMG refused to engage in any negotiations instead that UMG is not responsible for his own actions. Instead, Drake says UMG has pointed the finger at Lamar and insisted that Drake should sue his rival rather than the label. He also claims that UMG told him that the label would sue Lamar if Drake ended up filing his own lawsuit. Now, I'm not going to lie. 
after reading the court transcripts and everything, Drake might be on to something. And it's not going to be good for the state of hip hop, the music industry. It's just not. Because I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. If half of the accusations made are proven to be true. It don't do nothing but exposes what we already know. <laughs> it don't do nothing but expose what we already know about the game. And them boosting numbers and whatnot. This ain't, like, this is nothing new, ladies and gentlemen. It's just not. It's going to show and prove how corrupt the music industry is and have been for centuries, dog. The problem is Drake. They've been doing this shit for you, man. You don't wait until you lose a rap battle to, to take this type of shit to court. Because they did the same shit for you. They've been doing it for artists for years, fam. What makes you feel like you can do this now? Like, I don't get it. I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. I just do not get it. The problem is don't do it now when it isn't beneficial to you, fam. So let me get this straight. <laughs> you calling folks fragile ops. You at basketball games mugging basketball players and all of that because they in music videos. <laughs> like you can't make this up. And, 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 and it don't stop there. It don't stop there, fam. You threatening. You, you mean you, <laughs> you going at streamers and all of that. And then now we here. You attempting to sue a label, fam, that represent you. Did y'all hear this? Did y'all hear me? I don't understand what's going on, Drake. Drake, just rap. <laughs> Drake, just rap, fam. Dog chose to sue over streaming numbers instead of defamation of character. They be calling you a pedophile. You not suing for defamation of character. You rather sue for the streams? Drake, <laughs> like you can't, like, why are you suing for the streams? It's not that serious, fam. I don't know, man. I, I, I just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, man. At this point, here's what I'm feeling like. I feel like this. <laughs> and, 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 I, and I might be wrong, but I don't care. I'm going to say it anyway. At this point, you know who need to be suing Drake <laughs> and UMG? Mickey. <laughs> Meek Mill, you, listen, you better get your paperwork together. Especially how that back-to-back -back record went. After he done put, man, listen, Mick, if I'm you, I'm on, the, I'm on the phone lines with my lawyer today. Somebody getting sued. <laughs> Mick, listen to me, fam. The way that back-to-back -back record was played. I think they did something with them numbers, too. <laughs> you better get on the phone, man. Because Drake think he's slick. You can't fool me, Drake. You can't. <laughs> but I get what you're doing, man. Drake has continuously made history. And he's going to continue to make history. But I don't want it to be for the wrong reasons, Drake. I don't. <laughs> As the first rapper... To come out and sue because you lost a rap beef. Drake, here's what we're going to do. We're going to continue to listen to you. Because we like your music. But stay out the beefing and all of that. Like, just stop. Stop with the gangster persona and all of that. Stop like you moving with the mob. Cut all that out. You done, you done went fed, fam. This is what the people going to say. You went fed. 
Drake went fan. <laughs> Can y'all believe that? I can't believe it. Drake went fan, fam. Over a rap beat that he lost. All you had to do, Drake, was just sit back, put out the records that you like to do and all of that and cater to your audience, fam. That's all you had to do. This is not good. It's not good. It ain't gonna ever be good. Not when you running with this persona. You you rock, you got the mob ties and all of that, Drake. This is not good, fam. And I'm very disappointed. But I'll be waiting on the next record. <laughs> We're gonna be waiting. Fuck everything else, fam. Just get back to making quality music for the soul. Please, I beg of you, I beg of you, let's not kill the career, let's not dig the grave any more deeper than what has already been dug up, bro. please, we want so far gone Drake. We won't take care, drink. This other shit, man, let it go, fam. I do not want to see your career go down the drain anymore than it already have. Than it already have.